Pierce Arrow 12 Convertible Sedan, 1242, 1933. To publicize the new 12, Pierce Arrow arranged for the race driver, Ab Jenkins, to drive a Pierce Arrow on the Bonneville Salt Flats. An unofficial, 24-hour run was done in 1932, with an average speed of 112.91 miles per hour. In 1933, Pierce Arrow repeated the run, this time with AAA observing and conducting the run. This time, Jenkins drove 3,000 miles in 25 and one half hours, averaging 117 miles per hour. This trial broke 66 official AAA speed records. In 1934, another run set a new world speed record of 127 miles per hour for 24 hours. The virtues of the Pierce Arrow 12 continued long after Pierce Arrow ceased production. The basic engine, with some modifications, was made well into the 1970s for use in Seagrave fire trucks. The mechanical virtues of the Pierce Arrow in the early 30s would be enough to secure Pierce Arrow a page in automotive history. However, just as impressive as the 8 and 12 cylinder engines was the Pierce Silver Arrow. Original built for the 1933 New York Automobile Show, the cars were also a hit at the 1933 Century of Progress Exposition in Chicago. The cars featured streamlined styling that included an all-steel top, and side-mounted spare tires concealed in compartments in the front fenders. In 1929, Pierce Arrow began producing cars with greater styling flair that challenged the best. The 1933 standard models continued that tradition, while also becoming more streamlined. 1933 would also become known as the last year of the classic look at Pierce Arrow. The characteristic Pierce Arrow headlamps featured a curve inspired by the flowing lines of the front fenders. The new convex headlamp shape harkened back to the original shape first seen in 1913. The radiator was more dramatically sloped and V-shaped. Horsepower was increased in 1933, up from 140 thanks to a larger fuel manifold and the fitting of a new dual downdraft carburetor and a higher 6 to 1 compression ratio. The introduction of successful hydraulic tappets was an industry first. A failure in the past, Carl Verhees of Pierce Arrow developed and patented the self-adjusting hydraulic tappets in 1932. The Stuart Warner Power, four-wheel mechanical brakes were another innovation. This was a system similar to that used by Rolls-Royce and other European automobiles, but it was a first on an American car. Other 1933 standard features included tinted safety glass, crossbeam headlights, automatic choke, synchro mesh transmission, freewheeling, and adjustable steering column in 17-inch wheels. There were two V12S, a 398 cubic inch unit for the 137 inch wheel based cars and a 429 for the larger models. The smaller one performed no better than the 8 and was soon dropped. For 1933, a 462 cubic inch, 175 brake horsepower power plant was unveiled, the largest the mark would ever see. For 1934, Pierce Arrow brought out a new line of automobiles. The 1934 models had more rounded bodies with less chrome. The triple tail light that had been used since the mid-1920s was replaced by tail lights formed into the rear fenders, similar to the trademark Pierce Arrow headlights. Ten body styles were available on the 8-cylinder model 840A. The models 1240A and 1248A used a 12-cylinder engine. Nine factory body styles plus custom run bodies were available on the 12-cylinder chassis. In late 1934, the Model 836A was added to the line. The 836A was a lower-priced Pierce Arrow aimed at capturing a larger market than the bigger, more expensive cars. The 836A was targeted at a larger audience. Priced from $2,195 to $2,395. The A36A was available in a two-door club room or a four-door sedan. The A36A was powered by a 366-inch straight-eight engine mounted in a 136-inch wheelbase. It also used a different grille design than the other 1934 cars. It did not have the Pierce Arrow Archer on the radiator shell. Pierce Arrow brought out their last all-new model in 1936. The bodies were redesigned, 
with still more rounded styling. The 1936 38 cars have a distinctive arrangement of four headlights. An overdrive transmission and vacuum boosted brakes were standard equipment. The 1936 Berceros were among the finest cars the company had produced. The 1937 and 1938 cars were minor modifications of the 1936 design. In late 1936, Pierce Arrow introduced the Travel Lodge trailer. Offered in three models, the Travel Lodge trailers had an aluminum skin over a steel frame. Hydraulic brakes were standard. Inside, the trailers offered the convenience and luxury one would expect from Pierce Arrow. The birch and gum wooden interior had a dining area, icebox, gas cook stove, wood heating stove, water tank and a sleeping arrangement. About 450 of the Travel Lodge trailers were produced. 